At ease, man. At ease, at ease, at ease. All praise be to the Most High. And so what the prophets was just bringing out, as us knowing our identity, knowing who we are, knowing our nationality, there is something that is required of us to do. And that's repentance. It's changing the mindset. Give me Proverbs um, 31. No, 3 and 31. Because we're going to show you according to the Bible that there are steps that we must do, right? There's something we must do first in ourselves. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Read. If he not the oppressor and choose none of his way. Read it again. If he not the oppressor. The Bible says, in be not thy oppressor. Who's oppressing us? Read it again from the top. In be thou not the oppressor. So who's oppressing us today? Who got you in the ghettos? Who got you? Who's killing you in the streets? Who got you putting drugs in your neighborhoods? Who got Chick-fil-A's in your um, neighborhoods to mess up your health? Who got all these things going on amongst you? Your oppressors. The so-called white man, the so-called Chinese man, the so-called African man, they are your oppressors. And the Bible tells you to do what? Read it again. Envy thou not the oppressor. What does it mean to envy not? Because one of the things we got to learn, we see these other nations and we want to do what they do. We want to put blonde in our hair because of the white woman got blonde hair. We want what these other nations got. And the Bible says do not do that. We teach our children the way they say teach your children. We worship the way they teach us to worship. Read it again. And choose none of his way. So we're not supposed to be envying them. We're not supposed to be thinking in our minds and teaching our children to be like them. And it says do what again? Read it again. If he thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. So the Bible said, choose none of your oppressor ways. And that goes back, we're not supposed to be choosing their, the way their marriages go. That's not the way God tells you to do our marriages. The way we, they teach their children, that's not the way God tells us to teach our children. We got to change that mind state. Give me all uh, revelation. Um, 18 and 4. We got to change our mind state first. Because a lot of you complain when something go down. When one of your family members gets shot, gunned down in the street, get locked up, now you want to complain, oh Jesus, work a miracle for me. Oh my family member. I don't know why it's going on. And we telling you why it's going on. Because you in sin. Read. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard Another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. The her is going into America. The Bible says we got to come out of the ways of America. It's not talking about going to get a bus ticket, it's not talking about going to get a plane ticket. It's talking about spiritually coming out of the ways of America. We got to change our mind state. That's why we're at the bottom. That's why you see our people the way and what's going on in, in, in our community. Be 
Chinese community. Why you don't see drive-by shootings going on amongst the white community? Why you don't see Africans drive-by and killing each other? You don't find it. It's only the so-called Negroes are the ones doing it, and the Hispanics, and the Native Indians. Give me, train up a child, Proverbs 6 and 22. So we're going to show you what's the first step. Because first it starts by our children. We got to start teaching our children. And my brothers, what's your nationality according to the Bible? And my brother, my brother, my brother. What's your nationality according to the Bible? I'm not a Muslim. You, you say you're not a Muslim? Fine, you're not a Muslim. Look on that sign right there. Real quick. Yes, And hey, you got kids? What you looking at? Make it one chance. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 6. Hey, I need y'all to so straight up a child. And the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Read it again. Our righteousness. Our what? Our righteousness. So we finna learn in the Bible what is 
righteousness is. Some say, oh, well, you have the poor man sitting in the corner. Go give him some change in his bucket. Oh, you've done a righteous thing. That's not what the Bible say. That's not what the Bible say. This is what you're supposed to be teaching your child. The righteousness of God. And let's find out what it is. Read. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. Your righteousness that you're supposed to be teaching your children is to keep God's laws. You're supposed to be teaching them how to keep the Sabbath day, how not to eat pork, how to pull his pants up as being a, a man. You should be teaching your women how to dress properly, to put on a dress and take off pants. Tell your man a man up and take off these dresses these boys wear. Mm. Put down the cigarettes. Stop smoking weed. Get a job. These are the things the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Indians should be teaching their children. But we fail because we want to fit in with society. In slavery, they beat it out you. They beat white Jesus in you. That until you learn how to worship white Jesus, that's when you was allowed to worship. Before the Lord, our God, as he had commanded us, before the black God of the Bible. To scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.